as I mentioned, there's the these four components, data availability, consensus, settlement, and execution. So you have, mon you have monolithic blockchains, um, like Bitcoin or Ethereum as it is you know, traditionally, where you basically have a, like a general purpose smart contract environment, and the validators and the full nodes handle all of those four components. Then you have rollups, and in rollups, um, the L1 handles the first three components, data availability, consensus, and settlement, but, the, but not execution. And the rollup itself handles the execution of chain. And then you have validiums. And validiums are basically rollups, or, but they do not have on-chain data availability, or they, they do not use um, like the same layer one as the settlement or consensus for data availability. And therefore, they are not rollups, but more like side chains um, or validiums, as, as they're termed. So this is kind of like the kind of modular design in the Ethereum space that has been kind of like discussed so far. But then we, there's also a more of a Celestia-centric modular design or, co or configurations of the stack. So in Celestia, we're quite interested in this idea of sovereign rollups. And in a sovereign rollup, um, the sovereign rollup uses the, the L1 only for data availability and consensus. But it does not um, have an enshrined settlement layer. It, instead, it does its own settlement. And the reason why it's sovereign is because it can hard fork and it can upgrade without permission from, the set, from a higher execution layer. So for example, if you have an Ethereum rollup, your rollup is effectively like a baby chain to the Ethereum settlement execution layer. And you can't really hard fork it without you know, requesting, without convincing the Ethereum kind of social consensus to do so. But with a sovereign rollup, because it does its own settlement, it's effectively like a, its own layer one chain. It's effectively like deploying your own layer one. You can hard fork it, and yeah, it's, it can have its own social consensus. You've also got this idea of settlement rollups. Um, a settlement rollup is basically you know, like a standard rollup, except that it only is, it's only optimized not for general smart contracts or computation, but for, um, settle, for, but for settling other rollups on top of it. And I think uh, Yuri is going to give a talk about this today whereas with this idea of L1s, L L2s, and L3s. So like, for example, you can have an L2 that has L3s, um, but the L2 might only, be up, might, might only be supposed to be used for settlement for other rollups, but you're not supposed to like, post, like, um, post actual like, applications on that rollup. And then you've also finally got this idea of a Celestium, which is basically a Validium uh, that uses Celestia for data availability. It's, it has similar, on paper, it has similar security trade-offs as a Validium, except that it has slightly higher crypto-economic guarantees because of Celestia's uh, data availability sampling and slashing. 